Hey parents of Scorpio children, welcome to July. It's parental guidance, um, a very short, sweet message, hopefully a sweet um, for your July general reading for your babies. Um, their overall energy is really cool. Activate your healing power. Um, what's happening is a never ending symphony, which makes sense. Um, what is changing something in the relationship yep some kind of relationship dynamic is not moving forward um something having to work through and communicating with your angels so yeah it's a it's a very spiritual month for your um your i keep wanting to say scorpio but your sagittarius little ones so the energy that they have is this healing light power and it's um, activate your healing power. Very pretty, very blue, just a powerful, powerful color. Um, and then we have with the challenge or something that they're dealing with in the month of July is an unfinished symphony. And I'm going to reach for the book to gain a little bit more clarity, um, just to help, um, with what your child can be, could be experiencing this month. So unfinished business, an incomplete less lesson, a lack of closure, a need to make amends, to fix things. This is a time, it could be a spiritual time to um, tie up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or a project and mastery of a lesson, cycle or project and mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it's important that you come to terms with where you are now Practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closer, closure can occur and the answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. So it's like universe wants it to end well, but you have to be willing to do the work to let stuff go and I don't know how this translates because it can be any child but if your child is younger it could be mastering a skill you know it could be mastering fundamentals they they want to walk but they gotta learn you know how to you know hold on to the table or whatever it may be. Um, so things like that. Um, but yeah, it's like do what needs to be done so that you can move forward. Universe wants you to move forward. Um, so finish what you gotta do. And then we have relationship dynamics in reverse. So I'm, I'm wondering if relationships are an issue, because in the upright, this talks about, hopefully you can see that better, um, moving your relationship in a healthier direction, a healed relationship with yourself, an individual, or marital counseling, um, individual or marital counseling, a new person entering the picture, changing the dynamic of other relationships. I really feel that this is a, it's, this is interpersonal. So I feel that this is about the child. I don't, this isn't with other, this isn't external. This isn't with other people. There is, almost like a spiritual graduation that needs to take place or that is in the process of waiting to be completed. But your child has to do some inner work. Your child has to do what needs to be done so that this can end on a high note. 
but they have to be willing to do the internal work to graduate and to get to completion of this cycle. How to do that, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit, now I get it, is that they need to communicate with their angels. So you may, I would encourage your child to connect spiritually as best as they're able to, based on their age, to connect to a deeper level. And this, again, applies to adult Sagittarians because we are someone's child. We have parents. Somebody has sex and fertilized an egg, and so many months later, we were born, and now we're here. So we've, we've had parents for somebody's child. And as a Sagittarius, that was a Sagittarius an answer on, you know, being a child it's like that's how you got here so you're somebody's child but anyway um it says communicate with your angels total sagittarius long-winded and whatnot going off on a tangent like i'm just doing right now it says you have the ability to connect with the beings of love who surround you communicate with your angels and deliver their healing messages to others so there's definitely something spiritual um going on that your child needs to honor and how this is for you remember mom and dad that you are the real deal it says what you see is what you get i am committed to sticking to what i said i would do there is no better version of me this is it so i will make today great i am great if i feel there is improvement to be made within myself if i feel what if i feel there is improvement to be made within myself that is what my focus will be on until i'm satisfied sorry i didn't read that right i am the best me to be someone i am not is to waste who i am so i almost feel like there's some conjuring up there's been some frustration internal um, for sagittarius parents um, or parents of Sagittarius children where they like, nope, I'm putting a boundary. This is who I am. I'm going to honor myself. I'm going to respect myself. These are my boundaries. This is my authentic self. And I feel like this radical like resistance and tension that um, has prompted this. So something external has prompted you um, to reach this point. So kudos to you. So I hope that that blessed you. I'm excited for your Sagittarius child because they are on a spiritual path of graduation. So um, do what you can to help your child facilitate this. Let me know what you think in the comments. And always remember that if you need to reach out to me for more information, you can um, connect with me on Facebook. My information is on the banner um, on my channel page. So thank you guys so much for watching and liking, sharing, subscribing, and all that jazz, and we will see you next month. Take care.